let's try this again, shall we? YouTube, what is going on? We're back with yet something else more epic and awesome. Can't wait. This has been said so many times. I actually just started keeping tally in my inbox of how many times it was requested. I think one of you whose username is escaping me at the moment has asked for this almost every single video I've ever done. So I have no choice but to reward that because I've said before I admire tenacity. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are going to dip the proverbial toe into winter sun. This is exciting because Winter Sun is another one of those uh, Finnish bands that has escaped me because, of, as I've said before, I got super into the brutal stuff fairly early on and kind of just kept riding that train. This whole exposure to the Finnish element and the whole, whole symphonic element of anything at all has been a lot of fun. Now, the song title was a little confusing at first because so many of the comments said, uh, sons of winter and stars but then another one said something about sons of winter and time and i got really confused best as i can tell it's because it's from an album called time which contained the hidden track three minutes and 50 seconds after the last track so i want to comment on that really quick i remember the era before this digital age when you would go and buy a record or sadly i'm kind of old enough to remember tapes a little bit i remember the hidden stuff the 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 Easter eggs that they would throw onto albums. Man, that was cool. That was so much fun back then. And you'd listen to stuff and get a cool feeling for that. And that was just, that was exciting. That, I remember that. So that the digital age is still badass. I'm still a huge fan of it. I do miss those kind of Easter egg elements. As a teaser for the upcoming album, Winter Sun ended their Metal Camp 2008 set with a 15 second preview of Sons of Winter and Stars. Somebody tell me in the comments what that was like. Big fans of Winter Sun, were you there? Did you see it? Have you seen the video? Were you actually at the show? I say we get right into this. Sons of Winter and Stars. I got Bartholomew's right here, named after you guys. Got my headphones right there. We got Winter Sun, who I am super jacked to check out for the first time literally ever. Although the name rings a bell like I may have taught them to a student a lifetime ago. Okay, question for YouTubers. Uh, people on the channel question in in the world of metal that i am i'm dominantly known about like i like that i know of about the most there's something called the big four the big four being anthrax metallica megadeth and slayer they're called the big four does symphonic metal have a big however many number i know we've talked about nightwish and i know winter sun is a big thing here i wonder who else is really really big of this symphonic metal genre if there was a big four or a big five or a big 12 i don't know would there be a huge festival of that if there was who do you think would be on that let me know in the comments that's something that's really cool let's check out some winter sun for the first time ever this is sons of winter and stars let's do this Yeah, this is the rehearsal one, I should have said. The rehearsal one. Oh, cool harp. Cool six feel. Drummer's dope. Hear those blasts? Ah, oh, so happy to hear a dope drummer. Oh, 
it's so cool for me because it's not the drum beat you're expecting at all. And it's really taken me somewhere. It's really, it contrasts each other really cool. The guitar and the melody and the instruments that are layered over top of for that symphonic sound was what I was somewhat expecting. You hear there's that weird six feel, almost like a Celtic vibe to it. You could be misconstrued as, but like that drummer is just driving home, which makes me like not able to accept the groove just yet. And I think that could be a chance of them building some kind of cool tension. Ah, I'm excited. The layered, the layered like gang vocal stuff. Like I think the word is rise. That is that is just sick. I love the backing track is enhancing the riff with the the symphonic shouts like the dun the dun dun the dun dun. I love that. Very cool. Different feel. I wonder if this is the second movement. If anybody loves the guitar sound out of this, that's very reminiscent of a strapping young lad guitar tone. <laughs> Buddy, buddy's pretty damn good, dude. I, I wish the camera panned over so I could see that arpeggio he did. You guys hear it? It's, it's ever so subtle. It's like, this really cool arpeggio. I gotta look this up. Sick guitar player.
really quick, just comment as this, as it comes to me. Their knowledge of dynamics and their use of them, just overall being aware of them, is 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 great. I'm trying not to curse because I'm right into it right now. take a breather like my god this is like a journey man oh i love bands in this element i love bands live too and, and all that stuff but like this element of just it's our rehearsal thing in a studio getting chops up for what i can only assume is like a tour or a show or perhaps is even recording of the album but like this is this is some musicianship man Love that guitar sound. Love it. I'm wondering now where will you take me from the rise and the light comes alive into the mountain high we set our way will we find our way in this long way anybody's interested it looks like he's you well they're all using this wonderful microphone absolutely badass grab yourself one uh, i have yet to hook mine up to my daw but i should be using them in the future Cool modulation. Dude, I gotta rewind that because there's so much going on. It's difficult to put into words what I'm hearing, but it's, it's, there's like one voice section doing these cool melodies over here. Then there's another one over here that sounds completely different, but they kind of complement each other, but it sounds like two people having a different conversation with each other. And then they add like a third and a fourth and a fifth person. And then this dude in the center as the main vocalist is doing even something else. And it's, ah, oh, there's so much going on that it's difficult to follow at first. So I want to rewind and check it again. Wait until
from these three harmonies. It's so Danny Elfman kind of nightmare before Christmas in the Tim Burton movies. Like, it's so well done. Oh my god, who in the band wrote this? We are the sons of winter and stars We come from the far beyond time Forever the fire burns in our hearts The world shall never die With the arms of the wind we ride Till dawn as the waves of the ocean Cry so strong we wonder in the stars Until we're gone All faded sail by turn There's so many subtleties going on. I'm, I know I'm going to be listening to this eight more times. I know it, guys. But, like, this is... You hear, like, the, the orchestration parts are going, like, a higher range. And almost, like, they're not ahead of it. But, like, they're hinting at the riff. It's going here. It's going here. It's going here. And it's... And then, like, the guitar player will match it. And it's this cool uniformity that is so sick. But I think, I think it needs to be said how this bass player is really, like, laying it down. Playing a five-string bass ain't easy. But this person is just laying it down. I remember I had the thought earlier, I was going to say it, that, like, there were some cool bass jobs just being laid, perfectly minted, everything was online, but then some distracted me in the vocals and I forgot to say something. Props to this bass player, man. sounds like there's 150 people doing the chorus do they sound like this live at shows
I like like there's so much. It's sensory overload. It's so great. Ah, uh, I feel like I should do a guitar. Should I do a guitar video on that melody? That da 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 da. da, da. You guys want me to? Let me know in the comments. Let me know. Explosion, confetti, a small army of ninjas. Somebody give that drummer an award. Oh man. Okay, well, damn. Damn. Anybody else need a cigarette? <laughs> damn. So, I mean, the, the obvious thing to talk about is those just unreal orchestrations. That's some serious work. Somebody tell me who does that for them? Like, do they, does the band do it themselves or do they have, do they have a, a, somebody else help them out with that? Like, that's just sick, dude. That drummer just holding it down with blast beats at the end grotesquely surprised me in a positive way, but like grotesque, I was like, well, not expecting this, dude. And just giving her, laying down those chops, man. That was so bad. And the bass player holding it down. In the vocalist, I was I was blown away by the growl he did at the end. I gotta look up the name of that kind of a growl. It's that weird, like, phlegmy, uh, in your throat kind of sound that seems to be very, very popular with the Finnish style of screaming. So I want to look it up because it it's obviously a style enough that has that has like uh what's the word inspired so many other vocalists to do it that I want to I want to check it out and then he just his range changed and then his dynamics changed and then the the gang vocals are just going nuts man at one part I swear the drummer is just gonna start building a house or something these guys are doing so much at the same time aside from the obvious things like uh the the musicianships across everybody is obviously really really sick the one thing i would like to talk about that i thought was really gnarly uh a band like this the way that they set up any of the melodies even if it's not a guitar solo but it's a standard melody if it's not a guitar solo but still a standard melody that enhances everything else that's going on it just kicks you in the gut and it really is cool. And they do a lot of standard things, like they'll play the melody here and then they'll throw it up in an octave or maybe they'll harmonize with it or maybe whatever. They do it so well. Super into that. Thank you for everyone that recommended that, all 87,000 of you. Thank you so much, guys. That was really great. Okay, well, I, I guess that's that. You guys know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, send me an email, whatever. Let's talk in the comments about other great things this band has done. And I'm sorry I waited so long to do Winter Sun. Guys, much love and respect as always. Watch it go.